بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیٹ اسٹارٹ گرلس ناؤ وی ہیو ٹو ڈسکس فزکس نیکسٹ ٹاپک وچ از ریلیونٹ ٹو دا گرافس بیسیکلی دس ٹاپک از آ لٹل بٹ ڈیفیکلٹ فار کلاس نائن اسٹوڈنٹس سو مائی ریکویسٹ ان دا اسٹارٹنگ از آئی ول سینڈ یو فور ڈفرینٹ ویڈیوز ٹو ڈے اینڈ ٹمارو ان شاء اللہ وی ول اسٹارٹ گرافیکل پروف of three equations of motions so if you understand properly these four lectures and if you watch again and again these lectures so then you will be able to understand tomorrow's lecture otherwise you will face problem and almost every year examiner takes one long question from three equations of motions so we will discuss those equations of motions tomorrow but in starting here i am going to make your proper base so please watch these videos again and again if you have any confusion so till removal of your confusion up till that time watch again and again a time comes when you will be get command on these small topics so let's start starting from an example here let's suppose girls if we say we have a car and this a to b means this is a straight road so car is coming from this left hand side and moving towards a right hand side but situation is when car is coming from this left hand side so it means now car has covered some distance from left side but as the car reaches at point a then it stops there so when this car reaches at point a then our stop watch was showing time was zero now we have started the stop watch so we see that right after 5 seconds we see that the car having no distance covered by the car next after 5 seconds means total 10 seconds we again see there is no distance covered by the car next after 5 seconds mean from starting total 15 seconds once again we observe that the car is traveling no distance so but in starting when car reaches at point a it has traveled some distance from this left hand side but after this point time passes by but car having no distance covered by the by the car this no distance covered is by the car right so it means if you draw this situation in the form of graph so we see that when time was zero means we were standing at this position a and car has traveled some distance when it reaches at point a so we know that it has traveled from some distance from left hand side so it means you can say we will start our graph not from the origin origin means now this graph is showing basically two parameters one is known as time time is taken along x axis and distance covered we take along y axis since this car has covered some distance from backward side that's why we are starting this first point and we will take on this y axis here this point basically showing distance so if we start graph from this point o it means we are show, is showing that no distance is covered basically when this car coming from the backward side so when it reaches at point a so we know that it has covered some distance that's why we are taking that some distance in the form of this dot we will not start from this point because some distance is traveled by the car so we should write here dot next when the time passes if we see this one after 5 seconds we observe that same that previous distance covered because no more distance is added by the car next after a few second mean after 5 seconds again we observe that no more distance is covered by the car next one no more distance covered by the car so it means now we see that the car is traveling the car is not traveling any kind of distance 
so that's why we will get a straight line so it means when graph is drawn between distance and time and if you get a straight line parallel to this time axis this shows that the car is at rest position no movement right so next in video number 22 we will discuss more uh, few more things okay thank you very much